looked like rats in the shadows. Hiding, starving, or worse, captured and put into camps for extermination. Into a broken world. Ruled by the machines. It's no secret. Platforms like TikTok and Google know us better than our friends or family do. That's because these companies are collecting a huge amount of data as input for their AI algorithms. The problem is, AI can manipulate human behavior. Yes, manipulative marketing strategies have been around for a while, but when you combine them with AI algorithms, you can get a seemingly perfect framework that targets users more effectively, and it's harder to detect. Black people are constantly targeted for online disinformation. They are used as a tool to stir conflict related to the racial divide. In this video, we are going to talk about different problems posed by AI. First, how the AI designed to flag hate speech is actually increasing racial bias. Second, how AI puts out misinformation about black people. And lastly, how AI bias caused 80% of black mortgage applicants to be denied. So let's begin. It might sound cliche, but AI is transforming every aspect of our lives, at home and at work. AI can learn to identify vulnerabilities in human behavior and habits and use them to influence our decision-making. Even if AI doesn't have human-like emotions, its capabilities are much more profound. AI plays a central role in online platforms. It is becoming, if not already, a key tool for shaping online information spaces. Thanks to AI, online platforms can now directly influence our thoughts, opinions, and expressions. This causes a number of problems, one of which is the reckless spread of disinformation. And while AI can be seen as a potential antidote for disinformation, the fact is, AI makes this problem worse. This spread of misinformation acts as a powerful and very effective distraction for creating chaos and conflict. And what better way to plant disinformation than with racial bias and cultural identity? So, who is often right in the middle of it all? Black people, of course. A black software developer named Jackie Alcin realized that when Google Photos used AI to categorize his pictures, they sorted images of him and his black friend into a folder titled Gorillas. In the last few years, there have been many attempts to detoxify the internet, but how do you really detoxify it without limiting free speech? Platforms like Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook are counting on AI to help stop the spread of hate speech on their networks. This is how it's supposed to work. Complex algorithms use natural language processing to flag hate speech better and faster than a human hand. But research shows that AI designed to flag violent or racist speech could be increasing racial bias. Here is how. Study shows that leading AI models for flagging offensive speech were 1.5 times more likely to target comments posted by African Americans. They were also 2.2 times more likely to target tweets posted in African American English. And you guessed it, this is the most common language used by black people in the United States. Think about it. Most of what is considered offensive is based on social context. Slurs used in some setting like the N-word may not be considered offensive, but the algorithm will flag them. That's because AI doesn't know the context of the comments it's reviewing. It works with data, but if researchers are finding flaws in this data, then this could pose a serious threat to the tech industry. Many activists are also accusing platforms like Facebook of using strict speech regulations on black Americans instead of white Americans. In one case, a black woman, Mary Canty Merrill, was banned on Facebook for posting the same Dear White People note that countless other white people posted without getting banned. Students from the University of Washington wanted to dig a little deeper and see what is considered hate speech on Twitter. That's because many of the political conversations are happening on this platform. They collected over 100,000 tweets that were flagged by humans with labels like abuse or offensive. The results were mind-blowing. Tweets posted by the black population were 1.5 times more likely to be considered offensive. Experts then used this data on larger scale models and found that these biases only increased. The students then decided to take on a different approach. They encouraged workers who labeled the exact same data to consider the user's race and dialect when flagging a tweet. When moderators knew more about the person tweeting, they were less likely to flag their tweet. Therefore, racial bias against tweets related to black speech went down by 11%. So basically, you can have the most sophisticated neural network model, but the data is biased because humans decide what is hate speech and what isn't. Okay, so hate speech is one problem. Then we have disinformation and false stories. Despite the countless benefits of AI-powered systems, AI can be a double-edged sword. Disinformation aimed at the black community comes from different angles. AI is very effective at removing illegal, undesirable, suspicious, or sensitive content online. AI systems are very successful at identifying and screening for fake bot accounts. With bot spotting, social media firms offer better quality 
free content to their users. According to Facebook, AI tools help remove 99.5% of terrorist-related content, 98.5% of fake accounts, 96% of sexual activity or adult nudity, and 86% of graphic violence. But AI is not perfect. There is still too much disinformation, most of which is aimed at the black community. Just last year, a man named Robert Williams was arrested for stealing five watches because facial recognition technology decided his ID matched a photo of the thief. There's just one teensy thing, though. It was not him in the photo. According to a federal study on facial recognition, Asian and African-American people were up to 100 times more likely to be misidentified than white people. Now, misinformation doesn't only target political movements or activism. It also affects our education. Black history has been so consciously suppressed over the years that many of us don't know our full history. We know about major events such as enslavement, great migration, and the civil rights movement, but there are many stories lost to history. That's exactly why we made this YouTube channel, to share our true story. If you'd like to support this movement, click the link in the description below to grab our new ebook called The Root for 75% off. All purchases will be reinvested into bringing you more documentaries, teaching things they never taught us in school. Thank you for the support. There's another thing that's worth mentioning when it comes to the dark side of AI, and that's mortgage algorithms. Today, we live in an era where many mortgage lenders have replaced face-to-face -face communication with algorithms, but AI and its inherent bias appear to be making it harder for minorities to get their home loans approved. The markup led an investigation to find out how AI algorithms affect people of color. Based on the results, 80% of black applicants were more likely to be denied, along with 70% of Native Americans and 40% of Latino applicants. There is still a human element to all of this, but most of it comes down to an algorithm. Loan officers get the necessary financial information of a prospective borrower and then input this data into the algorithm. But when you take a look at the bigger picture, you will notice that white families have eight times the amount of wealth as black families. So when you use the assets and wealth, you are already faced with the barrier that is unfair to the black community and people of color. People who code might be able to change this outcome it is possible to create spaces in tech where black coders can grow professionally and personally. By advocating for black coders, we can make the tech industry more accessible, flexible, and practical for the black population. Programming and coding languages are a major part of software development technology. To get into coding, you can learn from online podcasts, tech articles, communities, and other platforms such as GitHub, online hackathon, online boot camps, etc. Coding is not only useful within the technology industry, but in many other segments as well, such as marketing, agriculture, healthcare, and finance. So, there are plenty of opportunities for growth. Big tech firms are constantly being accused of manipulating data in one way or another. But this is a problem that extends far beyond the digital giants. When we give AI algorithms a central role in our digital lives, it is important to see how it starts affecting us on a day-to-day -day basis. For black people, AI can pose a real problem as it makes it harder to address problems like racial bias. What are your thoughts on how AI affects people of color? Let us know in the comments below. Now is more important than ever to know who we truly are and our history. History. If you're ready to educate yourself and hear stories they never taught you in school, click the video on the screen. We'll see you over there. We want freedom by any means necessary. We, we want justice by any means necessary. We want it now or we don't think anybody should have it.